Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 10 of 7th Time Loop. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I got a bad feeling about this. Tomorrow, there will be partly sunny weather with a high of 64 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 44 degrees. Thank you, Alexa. I completely fucking forgot that it was 6.30. Oh! If only I got home earlier instead of recording at 6.30, but what happens?
Right. He, he's not. He never... Well, it's complicated. What's wrong? Oh! <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> What? I'm so <laughs> sorry. Don't you want to be, you know, treated just as much as everybody else? No favoritism, no nothing.
eventually. And who knows, it may prevent, like, it's not thinking much, which we know it is, but really, the cards are in his hands right now. He can say yes, but then at the same time, he can say no. Mm-hmm. I love how, in a way, he just came on to her without actually coming on to her. And, like, not, not where it's like, oh, I have feelings for you. More of, like, you have potential. I feel like you need to come with me to enhance that potential, you know? Yeah, I mean, because I want uh, that has to be a drug. Because in a way, this is all for the name of science, correct?
damn, like that? She's got to say no. But the question is, is she? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to say, like, have him, like, continuously avoid and say no, but it's complicated. Oh, mm-hmm. Have him talk to the victim. Mm-hmm. I mean, but it's still, in a way, kind of helping him, but not really, so... Mm. See, that's the most hurtful and harmful thing you can say to your child. Damn. In a way, this dude is kind of making a freaking new. Jesus Christ. He won genocide. Literally, he's just making bombs, but damn. You feel bad for him that he has this tragic past, but you would think that someone as tragic as him would take that tragic past and make good for it for his current uh, current future. In a way, he seems like he, he is in his own opinion, but that ain't good. I'm just saying the truth.
even if people lose their lives. It'll end badly. My thing is, how do you stop them? I mean, does she? would she ever think of the possibility of, like, killing them off or having someone come off? But maybe whatever she has planned with Theo, that could possibly help. But the thing is, we don't know the much contact on, context on what she wants Theo to do. We're not going to learn that until next week, though. But the fact that this man took his own trauma and made it into something so drastically terrible. This dude, in the name of science, in the name of everything that is all holy to him as of right now, he doesn't care if lives are lost in the balance of making this black powder, aka a explosive bomb power, because that's exactly what that is, because the, the man made a freaking bomb and exploded, and he doesn't care about the fact that he he's literally going to have people die. This is the same man who, you know, when his father died, he, he probably had no emotions about that because, of course, he had so much anger and emotion and resentment to his father because, of course, his dad tells him, oh, hey, because of you, my wife's dead. You know, you're this. You're, like, he, he, it's almost like he is this, I, I wouldn't say cancerous and such, but in a way, very cancerous and toxic and such. And it's like, wherever he goes, there's always death involved and such. We've seen other characters very similar to like that in other anime series. But I do hope that Richie and Arnold and Theo, with whatever Richie and Theo are planning, will persuade him not to really go this route. Because if he does, it's not really going to end well for pretty much anyone. Everyone could die and such and um, I don't want that even him saying the same sentences that you know in in her previous third life having the same exact com conversation word for word verbatim that had to just maybe possibly be triggering to her because it's like damn like even in this life that I have now I still in a way cannot stop him but something just tells me she has something up her sleeve that will possibly stop him. What is that? I have no freaking idea. I, I mean, truly, it could literally be anything, but we'll have to wait and see. But it was it was a very interesting episode. Didn't I think that was going to go down like that? That's the same thing with the fact that Arnold found out about her, you know, dressing as a guy and such. But I digress on that. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 10 of 7th Time Loop. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 11. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.